Well, there are some interesting candidates in this election, but time hasn't permitted me to give them what I believe is their due. If I could make one significant criticism of the Liberal Party, their headquarters in Brisbane operate like the Kremlin. There are several candidates I wanted to speak to who deserve a profile, but head office campaign headquarters won't let them speak to anyone. How can a candidate build a profile if they're denied the opportunity that media exposure gives them? The seat of Barton, named after Sir Edmund Barton, the first Prime Minister of Australia, has always been a fairly marginal seat. It's been held by the Labor Party for most of the period after 1940, though the Liberals have won it, notably Jim Bradfield, who held it for eight years in the 70s and 80s. The most prominent member of the seat in Barton was Dr H. V. Evatt, who was leader of the Labor Party between 1951 and 1960. Robert McClelland, a good man, was the member for Barton and Labor's Attorney General in the Rudd and Gillard governments. He held the seat for 17 years. It takes in outer Sydney areas like Arncliffe, Bardwell Park, Bexley, Brighton, La Sands, Clempton Park, Earlwood, Rockdown, and parts of Belmore, Beverly Hills, Campsie, Canterbury, Dulwich Hill, Hurstville, Kingsgrove, Cogram, Marrickville, and Penshurst. It's now held by Linda Burney. However, why am I telling you this? A young 21-year-old has stuck his hand up for the Liberal Party, John Goody. His first job was working as a warehouse assistant, then at his local supermarket, and then in an employment relations business. Now, he'll obviously struggle to win, but is this what we need? A 21-year-old having a go for the Liberal Party. John Goody. Good luck to him on Saturday in the seat of Barton. Now, as I've said many times, this election should be very much a Senate election. The Senate's meant to be the House of Review. You need to put people in the Senate should a Labor Greens government pass legislation that will need serious review. The bloke to watch in a Labor government is this fellow Dreyfus. He'll be the Attorney General. He is full of himself, self-important, and if he gets up his Integrity Commission, he could well give it a retrospective power and who knows who might be in his sights. The Senate is important. One Nation in Victoria are looking to win the sixth seat by a man called Warren Pickering. Now, these are the sorts of people I think we need in the Parliament. Warren Pickering has worked in the construction industry. In his late 20s, he wanted to contribute to his country. He joined the Australian Army as a combat engineer. Seven years of full-time service, multiple foreign operations and engagements, domestic deployments as a trainer instructor of foreign security forces, he then transferred to the Army Reserves, worked in the coal industry in central Queensland. But he vocalised his discontent with the COVID vaccination mandate implemented by the company which employed him, and he was stood down. But he said, I've always felt an inherent sense of moral obligation as both a parent and citizen of our country to stand in the face of injustice and mismanagement of our children's future.